Hi guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what to feed your bunny. So I'm going to be giving you an overview of a rabbit's full diet from being a baby bunny to adulthood. So let's get into it. When a bunny is from the age of seven weeks to seven months, they need to have unlimited alfalfa pellets and also unlimited alfalfa hay. Now they can also be given Timothy hay, orchard grass hay, but they need to also be offered alfalfa hay. At about 12 weeks, you can start introducing veggies. This needs to be one veggie at a time, slowly introducing them and in very small quantities. You wanna introduce one veggie and wait about three days, check the bunny's stool, make sure that it is digesting the food properly, and then you can continue and gradually introduce new veggies. You wanna keep this really slow with a baby bunny as they're still growing, they're still developing, and their GI tract isn't fully developed yet. So Roxy has decided to join us and we're gonna continue with older bunnies. So from about seven months to one year, you want to switch over from alfalfa pellets to Timothy base pellets and you no longer want to give them unlimited. You want about half a cup per six pounds of rabbit, and you want to decrease the amount of alfalfa hay you're giving them and give them more Timothy hay and orchard grass hay or oat hay, as alfalfa has a lot of calcium and older bunnies do not need that calcium from alfalfa. You also want to increase the amount of veggies you're giving them. You want about one cup per every two pounds of rabbit. And then from about one to five years of age, you wanna decrease the amount of pellets, maybe a little more, about a quarter to half cup for every six pounds. Pretty much get rid of the alfalfa hay as they are now fully grown. And then as they get past five years, just watch their weight, make sure they're maintaining a good weight. And if you see any problems, contact your vet. And let's get on to the more specifics. So I do advocate for a pellet-based diet. I find that it's super simple, but you need to find a good pellet. I like to use Oxbow, Small Pet Select also has some good pellets. There's a couple other brands that also have good pellets. You just wanna make sure that you're not buying a pellet with seeds. Rabbits are not allowed to have seeds. That's actually very bad for them. So if you see a pellet that has seeds within the mix, do not get that pellet. All you should have is pretty much Timothy Hay based pellets as they're old when they're young, alfalfa-based pellets. So the majority of their diet is always hay, and I'd recommend getting them a variety as you wouldn't want to eat the same thing every single day. So Timothy hay, orchard grass, oat hay, there's a couple other kinds. Just get a nice, good grass hay, get a couple mixes. But make sure you're not buying mixes that have like carrots in them or like little pieces of treats. Get a nice, good hay, which I would recommend Small Pet Select or Oxbow. Now for veggies, like I said before, about one cup for every two pounds of rabbit, but there's a lot of veggies to choose from. Now a good rule of thumb of what veggies to give them would be to make a variety of at least three and have one of your veggies be high in oxalic acid. Some examples would be parsley, spinach, mustard greens, beet greens, Swiss chard, radish tops, now for these, it's also recommended to rotate them. Make sure you're not doing the same one as they have all varying levels of oxalic acid. And then you wanna choose two veggies from the next list I'm about to list off, and those are lower in oxalic acid, and that's a lot more leafy greens, such as arugula, carrot tops, cucumber leaves, endive, acoral, frizzy lettuce, kale, mosh, red or green lettuce, romaine lettuce, spring greens, turnip greens, dandelion greens, mint, basil, watercress, wheatgrass, chicory, raspberry leaves, cilantro, redacho, bok choy, fennel, barrage leaves, dill leaves, and yu cho. I probably pronounced some of those wrong, but that's just a good list. And if you can't remember all those, I will leave a link down in the description that is going to explain all this again. And I'm getting all this information from the House Rabbit Society. 
You can also give them non-leafy vegetables. It's recommended though that you only give about one tablespoon per every two pounds of rabbit. And these type of veggies would be like carrots, broccoli, edible flowers, celery, bell peppers, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and zucchini. And also rabbits can have fruit, but you really need to make sure that you keep this in low quantities as fruit tends to have a lot of sugar. You should only give about one teaspoon per every two pounds of rabbit. And some fruits that are safe for rabbits would be apples, cherries, pear, peach, plum, kiwi, papaya, mango, berries, pineapple, banana, melons, starfruit, apricot, currants, and nectarine. So just to recap, an adult bunny's diet will be mainly based off of hay, but then you will also give them about one cup per every two pounds of body weight in leafy veggies, having one higher in oxalic acid and two veggies low in oxalic acid. And then you will also be able to give them a small amount of fruits or treats. There's also a couple different treats out there. I like a lot of oxbow's treats. You want to really, if you get any sort of treat, make sure you read the back of the bag or box and make sure that it really only has real ingredients and there's no extra sugar. I know that some rabbit treats, there's like yogurt drops. Stay away from yogurt, that is not good for bunnies. Also no popcorn, bread, crackers, nuts, seeds, or any added sugar whatsoever is not safe for your bunny. So I know this is a lot of information and if you want more, even more information, I'll leave links down in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure Roxy enjoyed me holding her the entire time. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And remember, live life to the fullest. Bye. Bye. Bye.